we're going to begin this hour on a musical note with our Road to the Tonys coverage, where we count down to Broadway's biggest night. The Tony Awards air June 11th right here on CBS. And this morning, Anthony Mason is giving us a behind-the-scenes look at one of Broadway's hottest new shows. The critically acclaimed musical Kimberly Akimbo is up for eight awards this year, including Best Musical and Best Original Score. Lin-Manuel Miranda called it a miracle and said he left the show happy sobbing. Love that. Wow. Anthony spoke with the cast and creators to find out why it is resonating with so many people. Anthony, good morning. Good morning. Such a great show. And the three actors we spoke to are all up for Tony Awards. What's even more remarkable, each nearly turned down a chance to audition for the show. You had to be persuaded to take this part. It was a daunting prospect. I want to be a model for a day, a famous fashion muse. To yeah. take on the role of a young girl who's on the brink of womanhood, but who is also facing the end of her life. Victoria Clark plays Kimberly Lavaco, a 15-year-old with a fictional condition that causes her to age prematurely. Everyone will stare at me, but not in the usual way. A veteran of Broadway shows. This is my 13th. Lucky 13, I hope. <laughs> Clark is up for a Tony for a role she was reluctant to take. How hard did they have to persuade you? Um, it took a while. It yeah. was over a period of months, actually. Was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a classically trained lyric soprano. Yeah. And this is... A teenager. Clark, who's 63, plays a character who's mentally younger, but physically older. That's an interesting trick. It is. It's living both extremes of your own life in one spectrum. But in the midst of all of that, it's daring the audience to live in the present. I like the way you look at life and think outside the box. A little odd, a little off, a bit unorthodox. Kimberly finds a kindred spirit in Seth. Kimberly Lavaco turns into... I like... Who loves anagrams. Cleverly akimbo. Seth is played by 19-year-old Justin Cooley. Cleverly akimbo. Who's making his Broadway debut. And you get a Tony nomination? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't believe it either. It's, it's kind of mind blowing. Really crazy. Cooley, who's from Kansas, was offered the role after he made the finals. I'm left with nothing. Of a national high school theater contest. Nothing but time. You were kind of reluctant to take this part. Yes, yes. So I knew I didn't have like the experience and all of the years of training and skill that yeah. I thought I would have needed to pull something like this off. But he has. This time, I think I found a friend. How does that feel, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this feels crazy. I remember the first time I saw it, it was like a little emotional. When opportunity knocks. Bonnie Milligan, whose big voice brings down the house in Kimberly Akimbo, is also up for a Tony. She too almost passed on her part. I didn't feel like I could. Yeah. Uh, I had just lost my father to pancreatic cancer. But her mom helped her make her audition tape. And she hit play on that computer for me to sing my first song. And um, <laughs> I got it like the next day, it was crazy. Milligan plays Kimberly's crazy Aunt Deborah, a lovable con artist. Is this your advice? To take advantage of sick old ladies? No! Not just them. Whose schemes include stealing a mailbox. Take the check out. You play an aunt who encourages children to commit check fraud. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Milligan grew up in a trailer in the Midwest. What's funny is I remember saying when I was in high school, I don't know if I have a voice for Broadway. <laughs> when life gives you lemons. I love that you just laugh. But I got into college, and that's where I really started belting. You got to make it. And, 
you know, you talk about my voice, my voice comes from my dad. And so I carry him with me in such apparent ways on stage. And I think the initial clinging to Kimberly was Bonnie wanting to cling to someone who was going and feeling all the love I could. Critics and crowds have rained love on the musical and fans keep coming back. I find myself so tremendously moved by her hope because it's so life-affirming in spite of everything that's going on. I've seen it 14 times tonight. I think I connect to it so much because I relate to the characters in the show so much. Yeah. I love the different outcasts of society because I kind of felt like that when I was in high school too. Yeah. It really is hitting different audiences in a way that certainly nothing I've ever done has hit. Pulitzer Prize winner David Lindsay Abair wrote the original play more than 20 years ago. It's also really gratifying because it's a weird little show. It is a weird little show. Yeah. <laughs> Life is weird. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and at the urging of Tony-winning composer Janine Tesori, they turned it into a musical, mapping out Kimberly's journey on a cork board. In the sort of run up to the show, how much does this move around? Oh my God, it's like Scrabble. From the very beginning, we knew that we were not writing a story about a girl that was dying. We were writing a story about a girl that was desperately trying to live. Heartbreak and, um, and joy, are they sit right next to each other. literally walk out of this show in tears. Yeah, that's our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I think our story is about what will it take for you to stop and realize how precious life is. Yeah. And there is a catharsis, there is a release that I personally feel every night, and I think the audience does too. Those performances, all of them extraordinary. Victoria Clark, Absolutely amazing in, in a, a really difficult performance, playing a teenager and an older person at the same time. You can imagine. I can only imagine, and I, I and the fact that people are going back over and over again yes. to see this musical is remarkable in this day and age. And it's funny because it is one of those shows, it's very hard to describe what it's about, and initially you think it must be sad, but it's not. And, and it's everything, what Janine said, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's touching on the one hand because it's, it is sad in one hand, but it's also very optimistic in another. What she said there, it's not the story about a girl dying it's yes. about a girl trying to live yes. that made me go that's why the tears it's not it's yeah. not sad there's the happy tears those but, are the you learn something in that moment yeah it's a weird I, little show but yeah. life is weird life is weird and one of the things i love about it, some of my favorite shows are shows that are it's very hard to describe the plot like hades town for example <laughs> dear evan hansen yeah this is one of those shows it's a small show it's not a huge production but it's got a massive heart and oh. that's what everybody's feeling cannot wait to yeah, see, I it. see this yeah too. anthony really Thank you so much. Kimberly Akimbo currently playing, as you know. It's at the Booth Theater on Broadway, and be sure to watch. The 76th Annual Tony Awards, June 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. And speaking Plus. of eight, Kimberly Akimbo, eight nominations, including Best Musical. Looking forward to that.